People have been using sound healing for thousands and thousands of years. In fact, experts believe that this healing technique was even used in the ancient pyramids of Giza. Now, let's come back to the present and to how sound baths are used nowadays. Simply put, sound healing represents a ritual of acoustic sound concert in the form of a meditation meant to encourage self-healing. So what is actually a sound bath used for, and how does it impact the body? There are various forms that a sound bath can take, and acoustics are created by using a wide range of instruments, such as bells, wind chimes, tuning forks, and gongs. Yet one of the most common forms of sound therapy is the one that includes the singing bowls. Generally, these bowls are made of metal alloy and crystals, but other materials can be used as well. The sound that these can create is highly dependent on the size of the bowl and where the mallet is placed. Sound baths are a great way to indulge yourself in a relaxing, meditative state that will help you calm down, heal, and discover yourself. The way this therapy works has a lot to do with the fact that everything exists in this universe and the human body as well represents the accumulation of numerous vibrations. In fact, each organ and cell in your body vibrates when exposed to a certain frequency. Since each instrument is unique and can create a particular frequency, your body will vibrate in a certain way that will help you reach a meditative and regenerating state. It seems that as Sarah Astor, a Brooklyn-based sound therapist explains, we can easily change our normal beta state by using certain combinations of rhythm and frequencies. So with the power of sound, we can go from being alert, focused, and reactive to an alpha state where we feel creative and relaxed. Moreover, we can even reach a theta state which is the meditative state, or a delta state, that we're in when we sleep deep, and where restorative and healing processes can take place. It has been proven that the vibrations created through sound therapy can greatly impact the way our bodies function, like blood pressure. Other benefits of this therapy include decreasing stress. This is crucial because the body is not able to fully heal itself if it is constantly stressed out. What sound therapy does is it activates the parasympathetic nervous system, known as the rest and digest state. While work is still in progress, it seems that many doctors are confident in the fact that healing cancer can actually be performed by using sound therapy. In fact, there are experts who are already using high-powered ultrasound waves in order to break down cancer cells with good result. Moreover, several studies have proven that mind-body practices like meditation have a great influence on soothing the parasympathetic nervous system and so it can indeed help fight cancer. Yet specialists explain that the real healing with sound happens when using the miracle tone of 432 hertz this tone's healing frequency is many times used with the crystal bowls that can be tuned to admit it. Science comes with proof that a patient who chose to listen to this 432 frequency music before, during, or after a root canal surgery felt less anxious and this greatly helped with his recovery. This is explained by the fact that nerves are soothed and so vital signs like heart rate and blood pressure are significantly improved. No doubt that 432 hertz is a real healing frequency. There is a strong link between the power of these frequencies and the healing process and sound healers firmly believe that they can use such tones to balance and align the chakras. This is how healing at a cellular level can occur. Apart from the 432 hertz tone, there are also other frequencies that encourage healing, such as the solfaggio scale that is used in the Gregorian chants. Back in 1988, Dr. Glenn Rain discovered the knowledge of the ancient spiritual tradition while testing the impact of different music on human DNA. There were four different frequencies that the human DNA was exposed to. Gregorian chants, Sanskrit chants, classical, and rock. 
While measuring the rate of UV light absorption, which represents an essential function of a healthy DNA, Dr. Rain noticed the effects created by each type of music. Now you might want to reconsider the music you listen to while trying to relax. It seems the Gregorian and Sanskrit chants were the ones with the most positive effects, and they even encouraged healing by increasing the UV light absorption between 5 and 9 percent. On the other hand, classical music increased UV light less than the previously mentioned ones. And finally, rock music seemed to harm the DNA by decreasing the UV light absorption. What Dr. Rain's research shows was that there are some serious effects that come with each type of music that can be seen on health and well-being. Since this experiment was done, more research has been made that exposes how solfaggio frequencies can deeply impact the mental, emotional, and physical states. Moreover, this created the path towards understanding music therapy and using it as a health tool to support people's struggles by using various sides of how music is created and listened to.